Blue All Project Wargaming here with an update on my uh, two millimeter troops. So if you uh, have follow me on some other media platforms, you've kind of seen my progress over the last uh, couple of weeks of working with uh, two millimeter troops and trying to get those modeled up. So the big thing that I was working on was trying to get some phalanx to actually look decent. So this was uh, kind of my first go. Um, problem with this was that the spears were just a little bit too long. Uh, too long for the actual model itself, but actually uh, too long for the uh, scale of the miniatures. So what I did was I came back in and shortened up the spears a little bit to become a little bit more uh, historically accurate, I guess. Uh, so this is a little bit more s to scale. But I'm um, very, very happy with how they came out. So obviously phalanxes are kind of the coolest looking thing on these models. Um, the other thing that I went in and messed around with was this uh, miniature here actually has a base underneath of the figures. I, uh, I decided that I really didn't want to do that because it's much easier to base the models just straight onto a base that I go ahead and make. So I paint the models, I make the base, and then I glue the models onto the base, which, uh, you know, a lot of times in other projects, I've not really done it that way. But uh, here, I think they work extremely well. Um, the elephants do have bases underneath of them because I needed to have a little bit of support on their trunks um, just to make them look right. Um, but yeah, the rest of the models are not based at all. So all of them are just, uh, it allows the, the, um, wash to kind of run through them and you don't get a big pool of dark stuff underneath of them. Um, you know, in some of these models like this one, you know, you don't have to worry about that gap being a base that you then have to go in and paint and, and cover. You can just put it out there like this. So, um, so it's really good for a kind of war band uh, or mob bases. Um, so I got a new camera here. So I'm going to try out uh, zooming in here and see what this actually looks like. But um, this gives you an idea of what they all look like uh, up close. So two millimeter guys. And this is a companion cavalry, so Alexander looking character. Um, here's the elephants. Came out really nicely, I think. Um, here's some that I haven't painted up, but these are the light horses, uh, skirmishers, so you can see. They are in open formations, kind of just moving around and throwing their javelins. Uh, here's a base of skirmishers. So these are all uh, based very, very loosely on what I understand Mark Backhouse's um, strength and honor rules to be. So uh, the size of this uh, base is actually the exact size that is recommended in Militus Mundi uh, rules. So. Um, I could use it for that as well. And these guys are just hopolites. Uh, the zoom feature is okay, but it's a little fuzzy. Um, and then this is a, a big unit of Greek cavalry. They got the round shields. And then this unit is a unit of companion cavalry. You can kind of see their helmets and then if you turn it back, you can see their cloaks kind of flying behind them. So anyways, that is everything I have. So that's what I've been working on. I have put these models on the website for sale. I've had a lot of fun doing them. I plan to do more for sure. The great thing is, is that uh, many of these models uh, can be used for multiple um ages or different uh, armies themselves. So like these hoplites could easily be used, I think for like a uh, Carthaginian uh, warrior sacred band or, or something like that. So um, uh, I do have uh, some Celts that I've done and some various ones. Um, one of the other issues that I had was trying to figure out how to name these because they can in some ways be used for multiple 
different units. So instead of naming these like Greek hopolites, I just named them hopolites. Um, and elephants, you know, okay, some of these are successor elephants, but I just have a bunch of elephants in there that are also that also includes some unarmored elephants that just got a guy sitting up there with a spear and the driver um, driver on the elephant but you get my idea so same thing with uh, you know just this unit here that's got uh, spears and and oval shields so that's just kind of how I named them um, because they can be used for uh, multiple armies across multiple ages so anyways that's it we'll talk to you later